Hello everyone. I am Begüm and my group mates are Ayberk and Eren. We did our senior design project, which is autonomous tennis ball collector robot for robot. Since too many balls are used in tennis, collecting the accumulated balls after a tennis match or training is very tiring and time consuming. Therefore, we want to find a solution for this problem and we created our robot for robot. Our goal is making a robot that collects tennis balls autonomously by targeting them and save people time and energy. Also, courts will be cleaned and balls will be gathered. There are some alternatives, but they could not collect multiple balls and they cannot gather them together. This is our cat design. There are two self-powered wheels in the front and two caster wheels at the end of the robot. There are two caster metal cylinders for collecting balls. The first cylinder picks up the ball from the ground and transmits it to the second cylinder. And the second cylinder throws the ball into the net. These two rollers are connected to the, each other and the motor uh, by the belt. Before producing our CAD drawings, we made a wooden prototype and tested the intake system. When we saw the system was working, we started the manufacture. After finishing the manufacture, we assembled the robot. This is our final version of the ball robot. Although we successfully finished our project, we had some failures during our adventure. And these failures taught a lot. For instance, in this video, robot turns around it constantly. The reason of this situation explained in the next slides. Deep learning is a great choice as we manage everything and taught tennis balls. We made the machine learn over 600 pictures of the tennis balls, but the Raspberry Pi CPU power is not enough and made a great number of delay. Then we decided to use color identification to follow balls. The color identification system converts the image from the camera to HSV format, enable us to detect the position of the tennis ball. The mathematical model of the system is based on the torque applied by the motors to the system and the inertia of the system. The net torque on the system is equal to two times the torque applied by the motors minus the frictional force multiplied by the radius of the wheels minus the frictional force of the two bearings multiplied by the nominal radius of the bearings. For the ease of calculation, we neglected the frictional terms. Then we took the Laplace transform of the equation of motion, where the transfer function of the system is position divided by the torque applied by the motors. For ease of calculation, we decided to use a PI controller. Finally, using the control system design toolbox of MATLAB, we plotted the root locus plot of the system. We fixed the ratio of Ki divided by Kp and played with the value of Kp. We tried to locate both poles at the same place on the real axis, such that the system is critically damped. However, because we could not find the initial distance to the ball precisely, PI did not work well. During the initial trials, we faced some mechanical problems, which was the vibration of the motor that will rotate the cylinders. Because other than that, our robot is not exposed to a huge amount of static load. When we first applied voltage on the motor and played with the level of voltage via a regulator, we unfortunately broke the 3D printed pack. Probably because the voltage of voltage level resulted in an RPS, which is close to one of the natural frequencies of the 3D printed part. Then we decided to do a model analysis with impact hammer and accelerometers, which can be seen in the videos. After we performed the hammer analysis, we found the first natural frequency of the pre printed part as 27 Hz. The corresponding mode shape can be seen. We found 27 Hz from the frequency response of the part. You can see that the first peak is at 27 Hz, where the coherence is measured to be 0 0.9. Therefore, in order to avoid resonance, we rotated motor at a lower RPS than 27 Hz. Hence, we applied 6 volts to the motor and achieved an RPS of approximately 7.5 Hz. Here are our final videos of the borough demonstrated that they, it's collecting the ball.
also in other videos for demonstrating. Overall, we achieved our goal and our budget was lower according to the equivalents. Lastly, the future improvements could be done on reservoir, camera, and computational factors for enhancing our robot. Also, we create wonderful memories. Thank you for attention. Thank you for your attention. And again, thanks for everyone who contributes our project.